Morning, you guys. It's earlier than I would like to be out of bed. You guys know that, but here we are. It's about six o'clock, and I'm headed out of town. Going to Salt Lake today. Got a lot to do. The objectives for the day are one: gotta go to the new Mountain Ops office, chat it up with my buddies up there, have a meeting with them. Two: gotta get my apparel figured out. This is the day. I've been putting this off forever. I've had so many people asking for merch and for apparel and it's actually going to happen. I'm putting the money down and it'll just be a matter of weeks now, so I'm excited for that. And the other thing I gotta do is sell a little stack of antler. Hopefully I'll get that done on the way up and use that money from the antler to fund the apparel launch. I'm gonna make another four hour drive, see if I can wear out some more tires. Let's go do this. Yep. Okay, there's the pile right there. I'm gonna sell it right now. Decent amount of brown. But I want you guys to guess what it's gonna be worth. Let's see how well you know your stuff. Put your comment, put your guess in the comments below and I'll post it at the end of the video what it ended up being. There's the man himself. You guys know that guy? No, never seen you. Never He's um, the CEO. You gotta get buzzed in. Dude, how official are we? What's up? Sorry, you're gonna have to check in. Okay, can I sign in? What is this place? Ridiculous. That's a big bowl. Dang, wood stairs. Fireball sheds. What? A zebra. On the floor. Dude, how dope is this place? What's up, guys? What's up, dude? How are we, brother? Uh, good. Made it all this. I like these little handhold ones at the end. Just got done at Mountain Off. Shot some bows out back. I probably should have filmed it, but I'm terrible at remembering to film stuff. Shot these uh, traditional bows are fun. I haven't ever really messed with them too much. Good friends. Now, I'm gonna try to follow that dude. Back to the valley before the traffic gets bad. Oh yeah. Who's in my house? Dude, you need to make, uh, you need to put some more mounts on the walls. You ever think about that? Hey, there's a screwdriver. And there's a uh, stud finder. Help me find some studs. We'll put up some Where's more. your stud finder at? Right there, yeah. Go find some studs. Oh, it's beeping, bro. <laughs> it's beeping. <laughs> stud located. See, Eric doesn't know that if you put these by the window, they'll fade out. Fireball is going to be hard white by next week, dude. That guy never gets sunlight, but this, unfortunately, this one does. Like in the early morning, the phone taps one. Yeah. It gets direct hit. Those things are so cool, man. I saw your video about that. That's awesome, the artwork on that. Yeah. Talk about talent, huh? Yeah, that guy's super talented. You going to introduce me to the video, man? No. You guys probably never heard of this guy. Do you guys know who that is? What's up, guys? This is my buddy Eric. I'm sure a lot of you guys follow him on his channel, but he was nice enough to let me come eat some food at his house, hang out, meet and greet, all the fun stuff. So we're doing that. Dude, I love how you have the antelope relegated to the back. Yeah, he kind of got demoted. Two points only back here. Two points only. But we're going to grab some delicious food on the smoker. Can't go wrong with that. And uh, maybe we'll go find something to do. We talked about maybe going fishing or going for a little hike or something. Whatever we feel like because we're grown ups. I gotta show this guy real mountains, all right? He's from Southern Utah. Mm. You've seen his videos, little roly poly hills. Mm. These go outside. I don't know if you can see them now. Real you mountains? Oh, you can't see them. Oh, weird, because of all the smog. You're trying to tell me how great <laughs> it is up here. We do have bad air quality, it's but we got the Wasatch out. Mountains. I thought it'd be fun to take that up there. There they are, guys. We'll we found the Wasatch Mountains. <laughs> here we go, that's gonna be pretty tough. Final product right there. Dang, these two are mine. I think Eric's having some sweet potatoes. Let's try. So that's how easy it is on that smoker. 
Yeah, how quick was that? That was fast. Cooked the meat on 350 degrees on the Smoker Pro. 400 degrees in the oven. They're in there for about the same time, so yeah, that's a healthy meal. This is deer burger from my Colorado buck. Sweet, ruddy buck. Let's we'll yeah, see how it tastes. Buck. Woke up, slept here at Eric's last night, and um, today I have a meeting with the people who are gonna be doing my apparel. Why is this so zoomed in? My arm gets shorter overnight. I'm just looking at hats and trying to make sure I have dialed down the style and the color and the design of the hats that I'm gonna use. My people have been asking for hats, for merchandise for a long time, and I'm excited to finally get that role. And I wanna know kind of what you guys think as far as hats go. If you guys would tell me in the comments, this would be wonderful. Um, if you guys would tell me whether you like the flat brim style better, or if you like this, uh, Bent, well, like those. Yeah, that's the ultimate flat brim right there. So, or if you guys like these uh, bent brim hats better, like these ones. What color of hats you guys wear? Like any of, if you your preferences, just drop them in the comments below. You can be unavailable, available on the website here pretty quick. I'm excited. Anyway, that's what's going on today. Meeting, and then as soon as our meeting's over, I gotta run south, maybe have another meeting. I like to call them meetings because it sounds way better than lunch meetups, which basically these meetings just go eat food. Anyway, and then I'm gonna head south and I'm gonna pick my boys up and we're gonna go camping. Well, I'm back here in the same place I recorded from last time, so you're probably gonna think I didn't go anywhere, but you would be wrong. Me and Eric had an adventure this morning. <laughs> Do you wanna tell us about it? Yeah. I've had the worst luck with my pickup trucks. I have two trucks. The engine went out on one of them back in September, so we're like seven months deep on that, and that's been a nightmare, trying to replace the engine and swap out the engine with a, a used one I found at a pickup park. And then my second truck, fuel pump went out on the Nevada opener when uh, Ben was having all the flat tires. <laughs> fuel pump went out, it's given me issues since, it's really made an awful noise. I had it, I took it back, they changed the fuel pressure regulator, I drove off, it still made the noise, Today, Ben and I pull out of my driveway and both of us look at each other. I'm on the phone with my buddy Chad and we just look at each other like, it smells like gas. I didn't want to believe that it was coming from my truck even though I knew I was having fuel issues. Like I knew it, I was like, is it in the air? Yeah, we both like, were like, I don't know, maybe it's it not. It the air, like this, this recycling center might have dumped some fuels for some odd reason. It really smells like gas. And we pulled out of this stoplight and Ben's like, dude, there's a giant puddle of fuel underneath your truck and we pulled away. So we've been stranded, we were stranded at a kid's daycare parking lot <laughs> for like an hour. But anyways, long story short, took it back to the auto mechanic and they warranted the fuel regulator. I'm back home, I have my truck. Ben's actually been in meetings and done all other kinds of fun stuff. Right. So eventful it was it was an eventful day i did get my meeting taken care of i got five styles of hats picked out or sort of picked out but like i said before i want to know you guys' input on styles just leave them below in the comments and then i ate a mountain of sushi like not even a small amount of sushi like a mountain of sushi and now i'm done i'm done with all my time up here on the famed wasatch front i'm done looking at these little puny mountains i'm ready to go back to some big ones I'm done dealing with traffic and i'm gonna go home hook on my camp trailer i'm gonna take my boys camping so so after a long day of driving made it home and time to drive some more we're going on a family camping trip we've been telling these two little guys in the back that uh we're gonna go camping all week so we're following through it's, even though it's almost nine o'clock before we get out of town we got the new camper in tow i had a few people comment on the last video wanting to see a tour of the camper so we're gonna do that in the next couple days here but we're just gonna go somewhere kind of close have a little bit of family time hang out cook some food super mellow these are the trips that i like really look forward to because oh they're just low-key and they're fun and the company's good so that's what we're gonna be doing the next couple days good morning from the top of the beautiful cedar mountain we just drove up here last night we just drove until we were up high enough that it would be cool check out this rig wow so i had a lot of people asking for a tour of this camper so let's check this thing out this is a butte. I believe it's 16 feet long, 1974. That's all the details I know. 
Has the nice wing on the back, super aerodynamic, probably the best on the market. Has a step. This right here is custom linoleum that we had put in. This linoleum here was made, uh, manufactured by hand um, in a sweatshop. We made sure it was done in a sweatshop because we wanted real sweat labor linoleum. Um, manufactured, you know, by children, 100% by children. This is a nice robin's egg blue fridge and it's made from actual crushed robin's eggs. Um, we, cr we actually had to hand climb um, trees and get real robin's eggs and just smash them to get that color right there and that color right there. So those match. Uh, several thousand robin, baby robins died, but it was absolutely worth it. Double sink. Um, has, you know, this is all real uh, stainless steel that um, we uh, extracted from a very, very poor third world country. Uh, this is the camp chef that rides in the back of my truck typically. Now this is a real marble countertop. This was mined in India by children, naturally. This whole thing was done by child labor. These are micro suede seat cushions. These were not done by children. These were done by my neighbor. It has a couch that pulls out into a bed. This table flips down to a bed. Then this down here, this up here pulls down and makes a really good sized bunk bed that drops. So last night the two boys slept up here. My wife slept right here. And this couch actually slides clear out here, about to here, and it makes a, pretty much a full size bed. So we had a bed roll there, a bed roll there, and my two boys up on here. Comes with all the amenities you'd expect from a, a perfect piece of this year. Lights, and guess what? They work. Um, Lots of cabinet space. It does have a bathroom in here. My currently my bedroll is taking it up for storage reasons. Um, but that's a huge plus. It's a real ivory porcelain toilet. Has a little closet right here for more bedroll, sleeping bag, pillow, and coat storage. It really is a top of the line piece. The best thing about this thing is that. It was cheap enough that we could afford it. And now we get to have a camping trailer. So really, I am, I'm a low maintenance guy. My life, my wife is really low maintenance as well. And uh, it's, we're just excited to have something that works for our family, doesn't leak, and we're gonna put a lot of time in the mountains on this thing. I'm gonna live in it probably during the elk hunt as well. This is uh, just gonna stay up on the mountain and I'll be able to drive up and stay in it and go elk hunting as I need to. Let's go see what these guys are doing. How many frogs did you catch? They might come out when it gets a little warmer. Timber, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, what's the matter? Are you so sad? Why? What is it? Bring it over here, let's see it. Oh, you thought it was a dinosaur? Mom thought it was a dinosaur, but it's just a rock. You know what you should do with that rock? Throw it in the pond, go. Oopsie, you missed the pond. Did you find a dinosaur egg? Um, no. It's a rock. It's a rock. Well, Mom found Well, I found a dinosaur egg. Oh, you found it now? I thought Mom found it. I, I just I, 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 I found a dinosaur egg. Yeah, oh, that is a dinosaur egg? Yeah, it is. Whoa, do you think you could throw it in the lake without hitting Ridge in the head? No. This is our camp spot. You see the nice trailer over there. So throw it in the water, Bubba. Go ahead. But, but, but I'll get them fall in the water. Don't fall in. Whoa, dude. Didn't see that rock coming? So we are doing some I breakfast want, burritos. I want fried eggs. You want what? Fried eggs. Fried eggs, okay. This is um funeral potatoes. They're not left over from an actual cooked them for another occasion. What we're gonna do is warm those up and then I'm gonna crack eggs in there with them, scramble the eggs in there and make breakfast burritos because we like to do things festively. You just mix. Oh yeah, get that lovely scramble going. You, you guys who've never tried this, um, you're just like me because I've never tried it. And this looks really gross. Just give it a minute. 
it's starting to coagulate a little bit. That's what you want to look for, some nice coagulation in the eggs. Let us see. Congeal a little. It's our words, you should not use it right Oh yeah, they're fine. They're real you know, I love some coagulated eggs. No. Clotted. Can we say clotted? Is that better? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? I was worried for a second. Don't break your third spoon, Rich. <laughs> they tell them something that they want to hear. That I made up this recipe and you're taking credit for it? Hey, hey, hey. Not that. <laughs> also, if you're confused as to why we're using a uh, camp chef on top of an actual stove, it's because we didn't take the time to see if our appliances worked. We just really wanted to go camping in our trailer. They work. We just haven't figured them out yet. We just were too excited. I hold you. I hold you. I didn't you. Oh yeah, that look good. How's your burrito? Um, I, oh, I know this kid's too look at, good looking to be mine, but you can tell he's my kid by the eyebrows. Look at those bushy Jeez. things. That's my boy. Well, that's a wrap to a pretty good trip. We had fun, got the trailer back home now. I want to show you guys this just because uh, I think it's funny. See that? It's a brand new tire, right? Yes. <clears throat> We had another tire damage beyond repair. Man, talk about luck. Flat tire, had to get her fixed today, but not that big of a deal. We're all good. So we just finished eating out here on the patio. I cooked up some uh, barbecue chicken and Ridge wanted you guys to see his pet snake. What's his name? Uh, Petey. Petey, that's right. Where did you get him? I got him from the rock. From the rock? Those ones? So that's Petey from the rocks. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's kind of been all over the place. A little bit of the daily life and the business side of things. But I appreciate you guys watching this stuff. I'm excited for summer. The temperatures are really perfect for us to get out and do stuff like this as a family. So thank you guys for following along with us. Thanks for coming with us and uh, we'll make another one.